since I came across it very often, I have decided to make a video about the duality of goddesses between Athena and Minerva. So let's dive right into it, beginning with the introduction the divine parallels. In a vast pantheon of mythology, the goddesses Athena and Minerva stand as prominent figures, embodying wisdom, courage, and strategic warfare, revealed by the ancient Greeks and Romans. These deities share striking similarities, reflecting the casual exchange and religious syncretism of the ancient world. However, within the literary works of the Roman poet Ovid, a distinct divergence emerges between the two goddesses. Ovid's portrayal of Minerva emphasizes her vengeful nature and retributive actions, often associating her with acts of punishment and transformation. On the other hand, Athena remains characterized by her benevolence wise counsel, and protection of heroes and cities. In this video, we will delve into the contrasting depictions of Athena and Minerva, exploring the mythological narratives attributed to them and examining how their characterizations differ in various literary works. Through this exploration, we will unravel the complexities of these divine goddesses and shed light on the duality of their roles in ancient mythology. Now, Athena, the great goddess of wisdom and civilization. In Greek mythology, Athena, also known as Athena, is the goddess of wisdom, strategic warfare, crafts and civilization, and much more. She is the daughter of Zeus, the king of the gods, and Metis, the titans of wisdom. According to the myth, Zeus swallowed Metis while she was pregnant with Athena, fearing that a child would overthrow him. However, Athena later emerged fully grown and fully armed from Zeus's head, symbolizing her divine birth in association with intellect and wisdom. She is often depicted wearing a helmet and holding a shield, spear, or the winged goddess Nike. Athena is celebrated for her role as the protector of heroes and cities, including her patronage of Athens, the capital of Greece. She aided Perseus, Odysseus, and Heracles in their quests, offering wise counsel and assistance. Throughout Greek mythology, Athena is revered for her rationality, compassion, and strategic prowess. She is known to favor diplomacy and peaceful resolutions whenever possible and the wisdom is sought after by gods and mortals alike. Now, on to Minerva, the Roman goddess of wisdom and war. In Roman mythology, Minerva is the equivalent of the Greek goddess Athena, and she has many of her attributes. It's the goddess of wisdom, strategy, and the arts. Minerva is associated with knowledge, intellect, and civilization. She is considered the guardian of craftspeople, and is often depicted with a shield, spear, and owl, symbolizing wisdom. However, in Ovid's work, Metamorphosis, Minerva is portrayed in a more complex light, while she retains her role as a goddess of wisdom and civilization. Ovid emphasizes her vengeful nature and actions of punishment. For example, in the tale of Arachne, a talented mortal weaver, who challenged Minerva's weaving skills. The goddess transforms Arachne into a spider, attribution for audacity. Similarly, in the story of Medusa, a beautiful mortal woman, whom Minerva accuses of desecrating her temple, the goddess hides in her transformation into a gorgon, a monstrous creature with the power to turn people to stone. In these instances, Ovid's depiction of Minerva accentuates her punitive aspect, reflecting a more assertive and avenging portrayal compared to her traditional role as a benevolent and wise deity. 
the contrast between Athena's benevolence and Minerva's retribution in Ovid's portrayal. In exploring the contrast between Athena and Minerva, it is essential to delve into Ovid's portrayal of the Roman goddess in Metamorphosis. Ovid, a Roman poet, penned this epic work during the reign of Augustus, a period marked by significant political and cultural changes in ancient Rome. While Ovid's Metamorphosis is celebrated for its poetic brilliance and imaginative storytelling, it has also faced criticism and controversy due to its portrayal of Minerva and other mythological figures. In Ovid's rendition, Minerva takes on a more punitive and vengeful nature, which has sparked debates among scholars and enthusiasts alike. Ovid's portrayal of Minerva's retributive actions, such as transforming Arachne into a spider and aiding in the transformation of Medusa into a gorgon, raises questions about the motivations behind his artistic choices. Some scholars argue that Ovid's depiction of Minerva may have been influenced by the political climate of this time, when the rule of Augustus encouraged societal harmony and virtue. In this context, Ovid's portrayal of Minerva as an avenging deity might have served as a cautionary tale, warning against deviance and hubris, as well as a reminder of the consequences of disrupting the established order. By emphasizing Minerva's punitive aspect, Ovid may have sought to reinforce the idea of divine justice and the need for individuals to remain within social boundaries. However, it is important to note that Ovid's interpretation is just one perspective among many in the vast tapestry of mythology. Critics argue that Ovid's portrayal does not align with traditional beliefs and reverences for Minerva, which has led to debates about the accuracy and ethics of his artistic liberties. Moreover, Ovid's portrayal of Minerva's vengeful nature can be seen as a reflection of his literary style, when he often explored the complexities of human emotions and the dark aspects of human nature. And his focus on psychological death and moral ambiguity is characteristic of all its works, which aim to challenge conventional perceptions and engage readers in thought-provoking narratives. In the modern context, it is essential to approach all its depiction of Minerva with a critical lens, recognizing the artistic license he took as a poet and the potential impact of his work on shaping perceptions of mythological figures. As we examine of its portrayal, we must also acknowledge that mythological narratives have evolved over time and have been subject to various interpretations and adaptations. So, in conclusion, Ovid's portrayal of Minerva in Metamorphosis presents a divergent depiction of the traditional attributes attributed to her Roman mythology. His artistic choices and emphasis on Minerva's punitive nature have sparked debates and criticism. And as we navigate the world of mythology and history, it is crucial to explore various sources and interpretations to gain a comprehensive understanding of the rich and multifaceted nature of divine figures and their enduring legacy in human imagination and understanding.